smells, that man smells. Robin laid an egg. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, I probably knew this one. Alright, hang on. Action! Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm out here of man lands. And look at this rinky dinky table! Look at it! This look at the whore! So I came out here to fix it, to make it a, a table. Because me and Man Landing comes out here all a lot. And we try to put our food, our plates, and our gear on this rinky dinky table. And guess what? Guess, guess what? Uh, uh, it just don't hold nothing. Look, watch. Just watch. Oh, it, it stayed. Well, let's try this. The rinky dinky. It's this. It don't hold nothing no more. It, it, it's, it don't do its job. So I'm out here. I want to fix it. And I, 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 I want you to come along and watch me fix it. All right. I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, a little update. I took all the tops off. Now I'm going to put cross beams in it so it make it more sturdy. So I'll be back with that. All right. I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, I got a cross beam right there. Now I need another cross beam going the opposite, like this. So uh, let's take a look at this. Come along with me on this one. And basically what we're trying to do, every time me and my friend Mark D. Chandler comes out here, we need a table, we cook, we do stuff. and. We can't do it because it's got a crappy table because I made the rinky dinky table. It's horrible. So now I'm uh, making a real table, trying to make it more sturdier so it won't be collapsible. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Basically, when you make a bush ta uh, table, you want cross beams to give it support. And my flashing sucks. I really, it really sucks. I think my mind can't comprehend knots and ties. So I make really flashy, crappy flashing when I make tables. And maybe I'll put some little nicks in here. The rope might stay where I want it to get stay. Now this is going to give it more support. And I might have to put another beam because this is a really a rinky dinky table. But hey, it's a bush table. You, you make a bush table. <laughs> now I have to go out and make more leg, uh, more uh, tables uh, for the, make more uh, things for the table. Because I just took a shitload of them for the cross beams to give it support. And yes, sorry, already know my flashing sucks. You don't have to tell me. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm getting there. I put two support beams, one this way, one this way, so it's contradicting one another. It's like that. That gives it support and strength. I might have to retie some of these things because they got loose over time of it wiggling and jiggling. So, so it's like really loose here. It's uh, loose over here, so I might put a couple, I have to put one here for a support beam. I'm going to use the tree as the other support. And we're going to have a better bush chair, a uh, bush table, and I'm going to make two bush table uh, chairs while we're out here. Look at me! So when we come out here and doing our little camping or cooking videos, we have a place to sit. And it's bushy. All right, since I have my bush on my mind, I'll see you in a few seconds. So what I'm doing, since the table has been used and moved so much that it loosened all the ropes, so I had to go back and re-untie it and tie it back. So look, it's, it's getting there, it's getting really sturdy. I just have to put another cross beam here and I'm using a tree to, look at me! And I'm using the tree to hold the back brace, so I don't have to put a brace across. But I do put a brace right here, and that's going to make it really sturdy up front. 
and it's not movable down it's not going down i retie that one i have to retie this one no i'm sorry this one i have to retie this one i retied this one and i might retie this one because it's loose and if it's a loose table it's going to fall apart so now instead of being a rinky dinky table it's going to be a real bush table so me and man land can really use it and abuse it for our own table all right i'll see you in a few seconds this is gonna be too long man i gotta leave you well my new bush chair i mean table is coming along pretty well take a look it's a cool little update i had to put more uh uh, what I want to do, I want to try something that Manland has been talking about for about a while. And me and him watched this video where these two guys took and made a barbecue pit out of something like this. So this is going to be a little trial and error. And I want to see if I can make a little barbecue pit off the ground. Let's see if Manland likes it. Let's find out. Alright, I read your cookies. Stay tuned for the next round. And this is an update on the table. It's, uh, I think it's a little sturdier. Let's see. It's a little sturdier now. So we get to use this as a real table instead of the rinky dinky table. So I uh, hope y'all are, yes, the, tune in. All right, bye bye. A little update. I'm putting leaves down. Then I'm going to come over to our fire pit and I'm going to get some of this dirt. Since this is the loose dirt. I should be able to get this loose dirt and place it on that table and make it a better table and it's gonna be flat then we can put a bag over it and that will protect our gear from getting dirty so let's finish this table I'm gonna go get a bag and I'm gonna put it on the top table and that might take the, the wood all right I'll be back all right we'll do a little update and show you what I'm doing half and half so you can see what I'm doing look down so what I did, I put some bunch of twigs, then I put leaves and grass, then I'm putting dirt on top of that. And after I put, finish putting the dirt, I'm going to put this garbage bag on top of it so it protects the rain, protects the dirt from washing through. So I'm just showing you a little update. And this should be a finished product. After I get this done, it should be complete. And I'll show you the last results. So, Ranger Cookie, what are you using for a shovel? I'll show you how I use this multi-tool machete cane knife. Where are you going to all the blade? That's why you call it sharpening the stone. You sharpen it back up. Who cares? I'm doing the job. I, the machete's too sharp. i show you. <laughs> Rinky dinky table to a real bush chair. I mean bush. I keep saying chair for some reason. A bush table. A couple more scoops and I'm done. Now I have a real table to set down stuff and it won't fall, it won't come down, and my food or right man land's food will not be on the ground. We have to pick the dirt out of it or wash it. Now we can have a table. What I want to do is cover it with a plastic bag so it protects our gear from getting dirty, even though we put our stuff in a fire anyway. This is not a heavy duty bag. But it's still a bag to do the job like I want it. Voila! Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoyed this short video of the bush table. It could have been made different ways. I could have really cut the pieces and put them in there right but it was supposed to be a simple bush chair quick and easy one so that's what i did all right i'm ranger cookie i hope you enjoyed the bush table for man land pipping his camp out twice all right see you in a few seconds